So today we're going to be playing NBA 2K23 My Team and starting with a full team of golds every single game we win we open one of the brand new season 8 super packs which have guaranteed dark matters. But if we lose we have to discard whoever we get in the pack. But anyway, yeah, so this is our team. Now let's open a pack to see what two upgrades we can make. Okay, pack number one right here. Pack number one. Let's see. Okay, so you got one Dark Matter and one... Okay, cool. Pink Diamond Kobe's not a bad player to have. And while we're opening this pack, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 308k by NBA 2K24. And the Dark Matter that we got, it's definitely something I already have because I have all of them anyway. But number four, Eastern Conference, it's 4,000 MT Antoine Jameson. Great. Okay, so with these guys right here, I'm probably going to keep Manu Bull just for the height. Just because we are going to struggle if we are coming up against a tall player. So of the golds, we're going to just keep Manu Bull in the team. So Kobe Bryant and uh, what's it? Small forwards, Dark Matter. No longer Chicken Man Jameson. Not a terrible player. But uh, yeah, so this is the team we've got. Let's get on to the game. Okay, not a bad team. Not a bad team here. Okay, I think Kobe's probably my, like... Oh, he doesn't have the freaking Kobe size up. And we just got blocked by Steph Curry. So this game, we don't start out too well because I'm not great scoring with ADs. We do hit a wide open shot with Kobe Bryant, though. And as the game goes on, we do get a little bit comfortable hitting a corner three with Jameson. Yeah, my opponent's not very good here. This is a blowout. And then coming towards the end of the game, we do take a very, very tough shot for an easy dub. And that is game. A very easy one right there. Jameson played well. That's a dub. Okay, back at number two. Obviously, there is at least one Dark Matter in here. And I'm probably going to keep Jameson, if I'm being honest. Uh, unless we can get someone better. Ugh, maybe I'll keep... I might keep Manute. If this is a small guard, I might keep Manute, you know. It's Varjo. Did I really just get two random season eight? I literally got the two cheapest possible cards I could have gotten. Really, 2K? Really? So because we won that game, we're able to add in one or two of the players, and we just choose to add in Anderson Varjo. And second game, we're coming up against a very tough team. And the start off, Varjo is showing why he's one of my favorite players this year. Okay, he just gave me way too much space there. Oh, he jumped, he jumped, he jumped. Turn. Why not? Risk it, risk it, Mick. Good shot, come on. Okay, this is a pretty tough one, to be honest. Like, this guy's... Every time I'm getting a little bit of a lead, he hits a shot, and then when I'm... I'm scoring basically every time I want, but every time I get a little bit of a lead, he goes and hits. But this is a tough one, because basically every time we pull away, they just keep scoring. Give me that one, come on. But unfortunately, he just keeps hitting shots on us. And you guys will see right here, the refs were even against us. They blocked the ball. My players go nowhere near it. They then hit the ball before it goes out of bounds, and it's their ball. How was it on my ball? That doesn't make sense. Oh, it's mine. He's going to green. Oh, my God. That is BS. All right, let's lock it down. Let's lock down. Lock in, not lock it down. Also, lock him down, but let's lock in first. Good. Give me that green. Come on. There we go. We got that dub. Okay, so pack number three right here. The fact is that we've gotten some good players around so far. As long as we keep winning, we're going to keep getting a good squad. Is it just not possible to get two Dark Matters? Come on, just not another Season 8 card. And if it is a Season 8 card, Mira San or Poku. Who? Sean Livingston. You're kidding me. Are we just... Is this just guaranteed 4K MT card packs? Okay, good team though, uh, just very boring. Three budget season eight guys. Okay, this is a tough matchup here, but we should be okay. And with even more firepower than the last game, we started off with Varejo absolutely cocking them. And in Livingston, it's an easy three right here. Give me that one. Wide open Livingston, come on. 11 nil, easy dub. I think, I assume he's gone. Nope, he's gone, that's a dub. Okay, we're on to pack numero cuatro. Um, we are on the fourth pack here. And DeJounte sucks. So someone probably coming in for either Livingston. That's Josh Giddy. It's another season eight card. 
Are we just- are they just gonna keep giving us cards from this damn Season 8 set over and over and over again? We've got nothing through four packs. So we're gonna replace Antoine Jameson with Giddy, and again, another really good team. Okay, this is a tough team right here. Oh, nice pick and pop to start the game. So honestly, having Varage on the team is so easy. As a pick and popper, as a ball handler, he's just one of my favorite players in the game. Livingston, not a bad player either, but nah, it is the Anderson Varage show right now. Okay, let's go, Varage out. It's gonna be wide open brick, I think. Nope, that's green. And that's game, wow. Pack number five right here, lads. Hopefully we can get something good. Two Dark Matters would be nice. I don't think that's gonna happen though. Steven Adams. Do you remember we had to get a bunch of threes in on 25, three pointer? Is that Kobe? Oh, it's Kobe and Oh no, it's Clyde, it's Clyde. Clyde Invincible's not bad, you know. I don't actually have him, so. Look, he's an Invincible, I'll take him. I'll take anything at this stage. Okay, the player I'm going to take out is Livingston because Varage is too good and we just only use Giddy for a half a game. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Like, I was actually scared we were going to lose Clyde. I was thinking, I was like, oh, it's not going to be too bad. We got Clyde. I'm like, oh, crap. This is like the first time we're discarding a player matters. And this is genuinely a beginner, so. What's Clyde's animations like? That jumper? What the hell is that? What the hell is that jumper? That's disgusting. I didn't even mind Clyde jumper. What the hell is that? I know we scored and got the... Do we get the dub here? Like, I think we're getting the dub, but like... What the hell is that jumper? So hopefully again we get something here, but I was so disappointed with that Clyde. Like, he was so disappointing. Like, oh, it's Double Dark Matters, is it? Double Dark Matters. Okay, cool. We might use two of them, to be honest. One of them's Giddy, who's already in the squad, so. The other player isn't from season eight, I don't think, then. So, this could be like a LeBron or a Jordan. Oh, it's Dirk! Please be invincible, Dirk. Please be invincible, Dirk. Come on, we, we don't know if yet. Oh, it's Titans, Dirk. Look, he's not that bad. So I'm gonna replace Giddy with Dirk, honestly, because, well, I like Varage out too much, and I want to actually use Clyde Drexler. Because for some reason, they gave him a terrible release. They gave him Rubio Wall, and Clyde Drexler Drexler is better. Okay, so we're playing against Jordan, Pow, and Steph. Okay, I'm not too worried. If it was Invincibles, maybe. I'm not too worried. It was like, Dirk's a pretty nice card. That release is so bad. Like, I don't mind Rubio Base, and I also don't mind... The upper, I don't, well, say I don't mind, I love John Wall upper. The two of them together do not fit at all. But yeah, at the start of this game, I realize how bad I am at shooting with Clyde Drexler. It's about time we hit one with Clyde. But thankfully, even though I'm playing terribly, we are still able to score with Varajel pretty much any time we want to. I'm not sure I actually have a green window. Like, I know I'm timing these right. I've missed like nine shots in a row of Varajel. There we go. But when my opponent barely hitting a shot, I leave him open with Pow, which was a bad idea. You're kidding me! Oh my god, I actually have to lock in now. And honestly, being down in this game for the first time was a little bit tough, but we get open with Varjo. Green, come on. Don't get Clyde. Used to swat off the board by Steph? Really? And at 1917, honestly, all we have to do is not concede a three and we are good. All right, Clyde. Because because I'm just struggling. I don't know why. I just kind of have to. He's got using Jordan, usering. Let's go to the basket and dunk. Okay, back at number seven right here. Let's see who it is we are getting. Is it a single? No, we're double dark matters again. Okay, come on. Just something decent. Something decent from season eight. Is that Tim Thomas? Is that Invincible Tim Thomas? No, it's interdimensional Tim Thomas. Damn. Okay, so this is the card from season eight then, because I think interdimensional was season seven. And it is gonna be 
Eastern small forwards. Jameson? Or Nix? No. Larry Johnson. Okay. I literally got two Nick small forwards number two in the same pack. Okay, so the player I'm going to use is Tim Thomas. The player I'm going to get rid of is Clyde. Not a player that I'm really the biggest fan of. So I'm going to put in interdimensional Tim Thomas in here. I'm going to keep Dirk and keep Varish beside him. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is, this is probably it. This is probably it for the six-game win streak. There's no way, right? We can win this game? You just never know. So, to start off this game, it's Evan. He's just going to go to his Giants. I, I jumped at that. I can't do anything there. But thankfully, to start off this game, I do outplay my opponent, making better decisions, and we get a wide open three here with Tim Thomas. Oh, my God. I shouldn't be passing. Like, that's the biggest problem is I'm passing too much. Just go to the basket with Tim Thomas or shoot with Tim Thomas, unless I can get an open on a pick and pop. His players can just guard everything. He's wide open the corner. Gotta green this one. This one's huge. This one's huge, Varejao. Come on. Good shot. He blew it. Big board, Tim Thomas. Oh, wide open. Green, come on. Give me that green. Come on. So we have a chance to win the game, but considering we're up by three, I decide to go for a two. No! Good pass. Green. No, he blew it. Grab it, grab it, grab it. All right, we have a chance. We still have a shot. Oh, no, we got a spike. We spiked on a damn game winner. And with them having a chance to win the game, they shoot an incredibly dumb shot, and we get the board for another chance. Give me that green. No, it's green. That's green. No way. We lost like that. There's no way. I agree with that last one. I'm telling you for a fact I agree with that last one. Oh, lads, it's this card time. Timmy T, you're gone. Larry Johnson. Unfortunately, you're gone. The win streak couldn't continue. Okay, come on. Come on. Game number eight. Game number eight. Pack number eight. And we got Joe Harris, who now has to play. Joe Harris, a gold, and Varejao. Okay, so we've got Varys here now with Joe Harris and Darrell Wright. Oh, lads, we went from having our best team to these guys. Oh, come on. No, not with this team. How am I meant to live with Victor? But my opponent deciding to rim run at the start of this game was not great. Really not great considering the guys I had on my team. Okay, that's how we start the game. Come on. So he was able to attack the basket quite well. He didn't look to shoot the ball, but that doesn't matter. He's got end games. I've got goals. And in the end, he does hit a big three there to get a lead with Luca. But they keep leaving Joe Harris open. That was a really good release in season one. I don't know if it's... Uh, you know, I agree it there, but it feels very slow now. Come on. Anderson Varejao is killing it, running as a passer, which is kind of strange. Oh, yeah, Joe Harris. Come on. Chick man Joe Harris here. But they then started to overplay Joe Harris, leaving our goal Darrell Wright open. Oh, come on. Darrell Wright. We are lighting it up with our other guys. Why not? We blew it. So in a huge possession, we go and miss a very easy shot. They get it to the corner where Luca knocks down the three. So we're down 70 to 14, but this time we decide not to pass. We shoot the deep three with Varangel. Come on. Great defense, come on. He has to make a decision, and his decision is to leave. Oh, you know what? Harlem Globe trying to type assist, bounce it off his back, come on. And at 1970 and up, as long as we don't give up a three, it means that we can probably triangle cut him to the win, which is obviously what I'm going to be doing right here. I actually think he's not going to guard it. I don't think he's going to guard it, you know. I don't think he's going to guard it. We won. Come on. Pack numero... No, I don't know even though nine is in Spanish. So pack number nine. We've got it here. And we're going to be getting... Chetty Osman's a really good player in TTO, by the way. So, like, I might honestly keep the two if we can get a good Dark Matter here because Joe Harris is probably going to be gone. Small forward four. Oh, it's Jameson. Oh, 
I guess. So we get not a bad team. Chetty Austin's probably gonna be our main offensive threat though. Oh, come on. I'm a little bit more worried seeing Shaq. You know, it's endgame Shaq. If I saw Invincible Shaq, I'd be a bit more worried. But he probably played legal tender on Harden, so we have a shot. I haven't used Osmond in months, but I do remember I loved his release. And honestly, a little bit of a slow start because I haven't used Chetty in months, but he's still Chetty Osmond. Okay, there we go. We finally got a bit of space with Chetty. And while we started off pretty bad and my opponent was a decent player, it didn't matter because at the end of the day, we have Chetty Osmond in our team. And he goes and ties it up himself. And while my opponent does start to hit some shots, which he hadn't been hitting with those end games, we do miss this shot with Chetty. But at the end of the day, we also have Aaron Show, who's not going to miss when he's left wide open. Big shot. Come on. Let's go. We're in this game. And at this stage of the game, they can just back me down for two as a win, but he steps out of bounds. Come on, he stepped out of bounds. We're in this game. We've got this. Oh, walk back into the two. I'll take it. Two points. He blew it. He blew it. We're good. We're good. We've plenty of time here. Chetty, get in your hands. Burn a middle. Burn a middle. He's going to overcommit. Chetty Osman. Oh, I thought he got it. Can I get this one though? Game. Come on. That's basically 20. Well, 18 for Chetty Osman there. Last pack right here. Pack number 10. Joining probably Chetty and Varajou. Because I hate Jameson. Or maybe we get two of these. Because I hate Antoine Jameson. So I don't really want to use him. So. It's Varajou. <laughs> How many times are we going to get Varajou? Like, every time we lose Varajou. Or I'm considering losing Varajou. We just go and get Varajou. And last up, let's see. He's coming in squad no matter what. It's James Worthy. Does he have an invincible or is it just the bad one? I think it's just the bad one. Because I'm pretty sure he's, his best card is a free card. Yeah, this card's not great. So yeah, this is it for the final game. Chetty, Varjo, and James Worthy. Okay, this isn't going to be an easy matchup here. Two Endgame Scotty's a weird one. That's one of the, I didn't even remember that he had an endgame. I'm not even gonna lie, I, if, if you had asked me whether Scotty and Endgame or Justin Invincible, I would have answered Justin Invincible. That's how out of loop I am. But I think we can win this game, especially with Chetty Osman. Give me that one. Good start. Oh, give me that one. Oh, I blew it. He's pretty good at shooting, isn't he? There we go, Chetty. Come on. Oh, give me that green. Come on. You can't step that far off James Worthy. And even though I felt comfortable, my opponent was starting to hit some shots. Give me that dunk. Let's just rim run. Let's just get the win. By any means necessary. Give me the midi. Come on, that's an easy one. Let's go. We just need to get our twos. That's green though. Thank God. Good steal. Chetty is killing at both ends of the floor. I just can't believe I missed that game winner. Why didn't I pass it? Give me a leaner. I'm trying to do something cool to end the video on one word, six letters. We out here taking leaners for the win.